Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather around the table of the Lord, the banquet of His goodness and His abundant blessings for all of us. We join the Filipino-Chinese community as they commemorate today the Lunar New Year, we ask our Lord Jesus Christ that in this banquet we may be filled with the goodness of His Word and the healing of His presence. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, the Father of every gift, we confess that all we have and are comes down from you. Teach us to recognize the effects of your boundless care and to love you with a sincere heart and with all our strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the second book of Samuel. Absalom unexpectedly came up against David's servant. He was mounted on a mule, and as the mule passed under the branches of a large tenebrance, his hair caught fast in the tree. He hung between heaven and earth, while the mule he had been riding ran off. Someone saw this and reported to Joab that he had seen Absalom hanging from a terenibium. At taking three pikes in hand, he thrust for the heart of Absalom, still hanging from the tree alive. Now David was sitting between the two gates, and the looking out went up to the roof of the gate above the city wall, where he looked about and saw a man running all alone. The lookout shouted to inform the king, who said, If he is alone, he has good news to report. The king said, Step aside and remain in attendance here. So he stepped aside and remained there. When the Cushite messenger came in, he said, Let my lord the king receive the good news that this city the Lord has taken your part, freeing you from the grabs of all who rebelled against you. But the king asked the Cushite, Is young Absalom safe? The Cushite replied, May the enemies of my lord the king and all who rebel against you with evil intent be as that young man. The king was shaken and went up to the room over the city gate to weep. He said as he wept, My son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, if only I had died instead of you, Absalom, my son, my son. Joab was told that the king was weeping and mourning for Absalom. And that day's victory was turned into mourning for the whole army when they heard that the king was grieving for his son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen, Lord, and answer me. Listen, Lord, and answer me. Incline your ear, O Lord, answer me, for I am afflicted and poor. Keep my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Listen, Lord, and answer me. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Listen, Lord, and answer me. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my pleading. Listen, Lord, and answer me. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him, and he stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials named Jairus came forward. Seeing him, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come lay your hands on her that she may get well and live. He went off with him, and a large crowd followed him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for 12 years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors and had spent all that she had. Yet she was not helped, but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. She said, If I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured. Immediately, her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that power had gone out from him, turned around in the crowd and asked, Who has touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, You see how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet you ask, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, People from the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid. Just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside except Peter James and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but asleep. And they ridiculed him. Then he put them all out. He took along the child's father and mother and those who were with him and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Talita kum, which means, little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of twelve, arose immediately and walked around. At that, they were utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know this and said that she should be given something to eat. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. And I would like to thank all of you for joining us in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist, especially to those who have come here to the Manila Cathedral from other places. I would like also to uh, thank those who are joining us in, on the uh, online broadcast of this celebration of the Holy Mass from the Manila Cathedral. Today, not only the Chinese people, but even Filipinos already celebrate 
the lunar new year. And whenever we celebrate this lunar new year, we always hear the greeting, the very famous Chinese greeting, Kong Si Fa Cai. It means you are being wished prosperity. But my dear brothers and sisters, I think in the past almost three years in this pandemic, we realized that the greatest blessing that we need at this moment is the blessing of healing. Kagalingan. Kalusugan. Kaya nga po, siguro napapansin ninyo, tuwing may mga binabati tayong mga tao ngayon, o kaya may mini-message kayo, ano lagi yung sinasabi natin sa huli? No? Stay safe. Or stay healthy. Keep safe. Keep well. Mag-ingat palagi. Ganyan na nauso na ngayon yan. No? Lagi kong naririnig yan. Stay healthy. Stay well. Stay safe. Because we realized two or three years into this pandemic that the greatest blessing that we need at this moment is the blessing of healing and health. So, we do not just wish each other prosperity, but we wish one another good health. In Chinese, although there is only one greeting that is famous, there are other, many other greetings. And there is this one greeting that I like very much during the New Year, the Lunar New Year. In Chinese, it is said, Shen Ti Tian Kang, which means, may you have a healthy body. Shen Ti means body. Tian Kang means healthy. So, ibahin naman natin ng greeting. No? Instead of just saying, Kong Si Fa Cai, let us also say to one another today, Shen Ti Tian Kang, may you have a healthy body. And it is very appropriate that our readings today tell us of the gift of healing coming from Jesus. In our gospel reading today, Jesus healed two persons. One is the woman afflicted with hemorrhages for 12 years, and the other one is the daughter of the synagogue official Jairus. They were healed bodily and physically by God. But connected with physical healing, Jesus also gave them healing of their emotions, healing of their minds. I am sure the woman afflicted with hemorrhages for 12 years was already feeling hopeless sad, lonely, and anxious. Labing dalawang taon na siyang may sakit. At lagi siyang takot na wawalan na ng pag-asa. Jesus came to her life and gave her not only physical healing, but emotional and even psychological healing. Jairus also, the synagogue official, he was already feeling hopeless because of the death of her daughter, of his daughter. But Jesus gave him healing. The healing of his daughter, but also the feeling of being hopeless. My dear brothers and sisters, 
as we celebrate today the Lunar New Year, we ask our Lord Jesus Christ to give us healing. Healing of our bodies from sickness. Healing of ourselves from anxiety and hopelessness. In our first reading today from the second book of Samuel, we hear another sickness, and that is the sickness within families. Not just physical sickness, but we see in the story of the first reading, David and his son Absalom, they are not in good terms because Absalom, his son, rebelled against his father. Magkaaway si Haring David at ang kanyang anak na si Absalom sapagkat nagrebelde ang kanyang anak sa kanya. And this brought King David terrible suffering because of the death of his son Absalom who rebelled against him. My dear brothers and sisters, this teaches us that within our families, we also need healing. Healing of relationships. Healing of hearts within the family. Siguro po, para sa mga nagse-celebrate ng Chinese New Year ngayong araw, bago kayo mag-decorate ng mga prosperity decorations before you go to the banquet of the Chinese New Year before you eat together make sure na magkakaayos kayo baka punong-puno ng decoration ang bahay ninyo pero meron pa lang hindi nagpapansinan meron pa lang may nagtatampuhan mayroon pa lang kaaway o kagalit minsan sa loob ng pamilya. The greatest blessing that you can have today is the gift and blessing of healing. Talk to one another. Reconcile with one another. That is the greatest healing that you will receive today. My dear brothers and sisters, the greatest blessing that you can pray for and wish for one another is the blessing of healing. Healing of our bodies from sickness. Healing of our families from woundedness. Healing of ourselves from anxiety and hopelessness. And Jesus comes to us to give us this great blessing of healing. And so today, as we commemorate the Lunar New Year, I wish all of you not just prosperity, but I wish all of you a healthy body, a healthy mind, healthy relationships, healthy selves, healthy emotions. Shanti. Please stand. Confident that when we pray with faith to God the Father, He will respond to our request with open-hearted generosity, we now bring our needs before Him. And for every petition, let us say, Lord of life, let your hand be upon us. Lord of life, let your hand be upon us. That the Church throughout the world may be a symbol of Christ's healing work by her care for those who care are sick in body, mind, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord of life, let, let your hand be upon us. That we may cooperate with those who are engaged in providing clean and healthy environment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of life, let, let your, your hand be, be upon us. That doctors and nurses and those who care for the sick may show the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the least of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of life, let, let your, your hand be upon, upon us. That medical science may soon find cure for rare diseases which prevent those who suffer from them from living full and active life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of life, let, let your, your hand be upon, upon us. That those who mourn the death of a child may be consoled by their faith in the gentle mercy of our Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of life, let, let your, your hand be upon us. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass, and for people who ask for our prayers. Heavenly Father, help us to go on trusting in you and to have faith in the healing power of your Son who binds up all our wounds. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. For the gifts you have bestowed, O Lord, we offer you the sacrifice of praise, humbly begging that what you have conferred upon us in our unworthiness, we may give back to the glory of your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, 
all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy, worthy that, that you, you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who have given to us as spiritual food the saving sacrament of your Son, which we have offered you in thanksgiving, grant that, being strengthened by gifts of courage and joy, we may serve you more devotedly and be worthy of still further blessings. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow, my dear brothers and sisters, February 2 is the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord, what we traditionally call the Candelaria. And so tomorrow, in all our Masses here at the Manila Cathedral, at 7.30 a.m. and 12.10 in the afternoon, we will be having the blessing of candles. For those who will be coming here at the Manila Cathedral tomorrow, may we ask the faithful to bring candles to be blessed during the celebrations of the Holy Mass. And again, our greetings to all of you who are celebrating the Lunar New Year, especially our brothers and sisters from the Filipino Chinese community. Chu ni men ta jia xin yan kuai le shen ti jian kang wan shi ru yi. I wish all of you a joyful celebration of the new year, good health of body and mind, and may all your prayers be heard by our Heavenly Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace pour out His blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year, now and forever. Amen. May He give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end, now and forever. Amen. May He order your days and your deeds in His peace, Grant your prayers in this and in every place and lead you happily to eternal life forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>